Hello and welcome to another show. My name is Sid and in today's video I'm going to be going over a simple translucent face mesh effect with reflective high dynamic range imaging, HDR eyes, uh, which creates this sort of plastic glass transparent effect. It's very simple, we don't actually have to leave Spark AR Studio, uh, it's only a couple of steps so let's create a new project and get straight into it. First thing we're going to want to do is add a face mesh to our new scene inside of this face tracker, face mesh, and then we're going to want to create a material layer. Now we'll come down here to where it says add assets, and we want to select the environment texture presets. Now these are high dynamic range images, 360 degree photos, which capture a, an incredible amount of detail, light, all kinds of things. Uh, these are the presets that are available in Spark AR, this is all we're going to be using today. So I'll just choose one of those and we can get on with it. That had a cool name. But just to point out, if you are interested in more HDRIs to play around with for yourself, you can visit this website, HDRI Haven, which as it says right here, 100% free HDRIs for everyone. It's a uh, completely free, run by Patreon. I have nothing to do with this website, but I have downloaded a couple textures and I gotta say they're very high quality and definitely worth checking out because the ones with spark AR are good but it's always worth having more options in my opinion uh, they're free to download they're free to play with you can import them directly and if you do end up using them maybe go support the guy donate a dollar or five dollars or whatever to keep the website up and running because I imagine it's very expensive to make these things anyway we won't be using those for now back to the main tutorial uh, we'll go to our material layer and we'll set that to physically based in the shader type. Now we'll come down to where it says environment. It's unchecked, but we'll tick that box and select our buildings texture. Now, as you can see, that's been applied. There's a slight sheen already, but if we come over to surface parameters, we can now adjust our metallic range, which I like all the way up there. Our roughness, which I like all the way down there. And this, which really only works if you have a lot of red in your <laughs> ORM textures, which we're not even using, so we might as well just leave that at zero. Uh, this tutorial, if you've already seen it, is my shiny metal face tutorial. Uh, so if you have already seen that, you're basically caught up. The next thing we're gonna do is drop this down to around 90, increase this to around 15, and then come down to our opacity under render options, and I'm gonna say reduce that to about 25%. And there you go, it's a nice shiny plastic face. It doesn't quite work as well on these uh, like demo people as it does on my, because see her hair is going over and most people would generally push that out of the way. Same with this one, same with this one. The beard is a little bit tricky, but generally the effect is solid. We now have this shiny plastic, transparent, translucent sort of effect. Uh, you can even come down here to where it says rotation uh, underneath the environment texture and because it's a 360 degree image if you look at my forehead my shiny shiny forehead as I rotate this the actual position of the f like the scene rotates and is reflected differently a pr uh, uh, on the surface of my face so you can play around with that if you don't want any buildings but you do like the general ambience you could pull those out off to the side. But yeah, this is a simple effect that you can try at home, change the colors, really play around with it and get anything you like going. You can add eyes like I did with the uh, shiny metallic face, but you're gonna have to be more careful and won't be able to just do a big rectangle like I did in the other video. You'll have to actually go in and like draw out the individual parts that you want a clue uh, you want to show through underneath <laughs> because it's transparent everything will show through just like the guy's beard and the woman's hair but yeah this is basically the effect so I'm gonna leave the video here and say thank you if you like this leave a like comment below if you wanna see any specific tutorial or if you just have a general criticism or comment about the videos that I've been making so far I know I ramble at the end, but it's usually because I don't know how to end these things. So, you know, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye.